All right, I'm getting ready to uh, get back to work on this clay. It's been a while, but uh, all right, I'm getting ready to get back to work on this clay. It's been a while. I uh, went to Texas uh, last week. Uh, well, let's see, wait a minute. Uh, yeah, weekend before last, I was teaching a, a class uh, down in. Uh, Grapevine, Texas, at the uh, foundry down there, Grapevine Foundry, uh, teaching a class on doing portraits of, in, in clay. And I uh, had a great time. Um, I'm going to show you a couple of pictures uh, that were taken down there. Uh, we uh, got together. Uh, there a, I had five students and uh, three others that uh, joined. Uh, as the weekend went on and uh, we had a great time so here I am back here at the house and uh, last week or this last week I've not felt too good uh, not good enough to sculpt been back a week and just haven't felt too much like working because on the on the plane on the way home I got uh, an inner ear infection or something that threw my balance off and I it was hard for me to even move around for about a for about a week. Uh, today I feel great, and uh, so I'm going to be back on the hands for these uh, figures and see what I can come up with. There's a practice of some kind going on at the uh, high school. I'm just uh, on about a half a block from the the high school, and so uh, whenever they have a football game or the some kind of a practice. Uh, I can pick it up pretty good here at the house. It's hard to get back in the groove again after being away for so long from the, this piece. But uh, I'm going to try to ignore the time away and try to do something here. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get the hand the uh, right size for the uh, figure. And uh, I'm going to do one hand, and then I'll base the size of all my other hands on this, uh, this one hand. It's really hard to get the uh, camera angle just perfect so I can work and you can see. While I'm uh, working on this hand, let me uh, remind you that I've got uh, some instructional DVDs that are available. Uh, here I am shown holding a collection of them. Uh, I started sculpting in 1964 in my senior year in high school. I took a pottery class and I couldn't throw pots so the teacher said why don't you try sculpting and I found I had a knack for it and my first sculptures were out of uh, terracotta and uh, and plaster burlap and whatever else material I could get a hold of I uh won three scholarships in my sculpting but I didn't think I was ever going to be a sculptor so I didn't take any of the classes and my my grades were just too low for me to really consider it so I went in the Navy instead because that was about the time that Vietnam was starting and, and uh, I joined up with the uh, Navy to keep the tradition of my family. My dad was in the Navy during World War II and the Korean War, and so I wanted to be part of the Navy. I uh, 
drew cartoons for a long time. I was a artist as a journalist in the Navy and and uh, I drew cartoons and I thought that I might be a cartoonist someday. And then I got uh, out of the Navy, got married and had to make a living so I was uh, a printer. Worked in the printing business since I was a journalist in the Navy. I had experience with makeup uh, pages and stuff like that and uh, photography. So I went into the printing business and I did sculpting as kind of like a hobby in my basement uh, of my house. And uh, in the evenings after the kids would go to bed. Uh, and then it get, started taking me over and I started doing it more and more. And I entered a piece into the state fair in Utah as a, an amateur and and that's what I really considered myself was an amateur. And the uh, I went in to see if I won any awards or anything like that with a bust of a frontiersman. And I couldn't find my sculpture in the, at, at the show and I asked where it was and they said, oh, they, we took, put you in professional and gave you first place. <laughs> so that was the beginning of my art career. Um, but anyway, I, I put, well, let's see, 1965, 75, 85, 95, 2005. Uh, over 50 years of experience in these DVDs on how to sculpt and I think that uh, you might get something from them. All right, I'm going to, I've got this hand established. I'm going to uh, go ahead and take the measurements off that, off of this hand and uh, do some more hands now. I was going to originally do these hands in wax and I've decided not to uh, because I think I can do better in clay. Um, so let's get started. First thing I need to do is make the hand similar in size to the uh, one I just did. And uh, I don't know how much of this I'm going to show because, quite honestly, it's uh, hard to video and keep my hand out of the way. I'm using uh, my jig that I bought. It's uh, helped me work on these uh, hands away from the... Uh, people I'm sculpting them for. Put it next to this hand, and it seems to be fine. And we'll just stick that hand right on there. There we go. So first hands I 
on this piece. Well, that sets the uh, size for the hands of the other figures. I'm going to go ahead and continue working on those and uh, I'll be back tomorrow showing how much uh, progress I made. I'm going to turn the camera off only because it's just so hard to work on something this small uh, with the limited area that I have to work in. Alright everybody, good night.